Good evening. Nice and sweaty out here. It's not even super hot, but I'm sweating because I just finished mucking the chicken coop. It's part of the bedding here. Mm -hmm. Part of the bedding back there. It, it, it's, a, it's a lot. Sometimes it's a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot getting all that stuff out of there. I'm also trying to harvest some of this um, compost out of here. And every time I dig in, look what happens. It falls. It falls through. <laughs> it's like a fine dust. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's just... So I'm going to go grab my shovel and get some of this out of here. It's done. It's done. It's done. I've been leaving my chickens on deep bedding for the last three years. This is a stagnant coop. So I make sure I put deep bedding here. I put deep bedding all through here. It's a little thin toward the top. But every time I get my grass cut and uh, the people that cut the grass from my neighbors all around, I tell them just, hey, bring those clippings and just dump them over the fence. So they dump their clippings over here and my guy, grass guy, Cody, dumps his clippings over here and so we have plenty, plenty of deep bedding. Actually, it's probably about almost two feet over there by that gate. I know because last time I opened the gate, I couldn't get it closed back. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. Yep. I always got some company. Just been in that flat plant, having a good time. <laughs> that's the same hay that's been in y'all coop, coop for the last two months. Y'all can't couldn't get it from that. Nope. So, no, it's fine. I'm glad they're, I'm glad they're mixing it on up. So, I'm going to finish cleaning up around here. And then try to get my raspberries and blackberries into some dirt and get them out of those pots. So, that's what I'm doing tonight. Shrine is in there. I think Alex is home. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I see Shrine coming out the door. But I'm not sure if Alex is home. My friend is in there with the kids, so I, she gave me a couple minutes so I can do a little something. So that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to get a couple things done well, before it's time to sit on down for the night. All right, well, remember, oh, one, one good tip. When you're mucking your chicken coop or even clean up after any animals, sometimes there's a dry dust that comes up. Do not breathe that dust in if you can help it if you can help it do not breathe that dust in um wear a dust mask when you're cleaning out the coop because there is a very serious lung condition that results from breathing in the feces of your um of your farm animals um and there's also one that can make you very very sick if you have mice and you're cleaning up mice droppings there's a lung issue that can make you very, very sick with that. So just be very careful when you're mucking your chicken coops and you're mucking your, your horse stalls and if they're dry and things like that, you just gotta be careful when that dust is flowing up. Try not to breathe it in. So I was throwing that stuff out, holding my breath and running. So <laughs> that's why it took me a little bit longer, but um, I remember that I got kind of sick last time that I mucked this chicken coop, so I won't do it again. So I'll make sure that I am careful. Make sure that you're careful. If you have to wear a mask when you muck your chicken coop and things like that, go ahead and wear it because especially if you already have asthma or lung issues, it's not worth it. It ain't worth your health. I love my birds. I don't want to get sick behind them though. You know what I'm saying? So that's just one thing. All right, guys. I'm going to just finish up here and I'm going to go ahead and get my raspberries and blackberries situated y'all have a good evening and thank you for joining me at Gigi's garden remember be kind it's free <laughs>